My brothers and sisters, <clears throat> some people have asked me before I begin the topic, why isn't Allah giving them justice and victory? And if you think about this question deeper, brothers and sisters, you'll find that the question is just wrong. Why is the question wrong? Brothers and sisters, when you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us in this life as a test in this world, then you will understand it greater. And when you understand that there is a hereafter, there is a judgment day, there is paradise, there is hellfire, and that this life is short, and that Allah will not let the oppressors go, then the picture will become clearer. In this life right now, if Allah wanted to, He can open up the skies and let the angels come down before your eyes. But then what is the purpose of life anymore? Everybody who sees it, then Allah says already in the Quran, if your Lord wanted to, He would have done all of that. He said it to the people of the kuffar at the time of the Prophet He said, but then if I did that, Allah says, then there will be no need for this world anymore and everybody would just be lifted off this world and a day of judgment will occur now instead of later. Then there's no point of the whole purpose of why Allah created us here. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us guidance and He has given us promises and He has given us uh, the clear statement of what He wants from us and what we're supposed to do for each other and that He created reward, a reward system and a punishment system. And He told us very clearly in the Quran right from the beginning that this life is a test and that it is up to us to defend each other, to stand up for each other, to follow the guidance to come together, to unite between each other, to speak out for each other, to voice for each other, to be there for one another, to build our lives and develop and, be, and, and build our strength together and prepare. For the leaders are from us and the systems are because of us. And what we do is what the result will come out later to look at ourselves, to look at our families, to look at our brotherhood and sisterhood, to look at all that stuff and not just be reactionary. When something goes wrong, we react. There is preparation. This world is built on a system. Every oppressor that got to heights prepared for hundreds of years. So it needs preparation, it needs iman, it needs knowledge, it needs education, it needs coming together and not just temporarily. So Allah has left this world up to us to do things to stand up for each other, not to wait and say, Oh Allah, open the heavens so the angels can come down. No, Allah doesn't do that. Then Allah will just end this world and day of judgment will come. But what Allah did promise is that when a person dies, there is no coming back to this world. And that is for eternity. Then the day of judgment comes. And then to paradise or hellfire. Even an atom's worth of good deed that you and I did will be revealed. An atom's worth of bad deed will be revealed. And don't you ever think that Allah is unaware? Don't you ever think that Allah is unaware? He is watching very carefully and very closely. And He has given us the guidance and that guidance will not change. There is a system to this world. You go by that system and you watch when victory comes. But Allah has created this world, the doubt of Bala. It doesn't mean we sit down and do nothing and say, because what's happening now is that we rely only on dua and we rely only on some divine intervention. This is not true. Rasulullah prepared for years and they even lost in the battle of Uhud in the battle of Khandaq they nearly were annihilated and a genocide almost happened to them Rasulullah was injured in the battle of Uhud and almost died or was almost killed Rasulullah didn't guarantee that Muhammad will be protected from the enemy he didn't guarantee that in the Quran he gave hints but it was the believers that stood by him these are the best of the best and not just in war but everything, while the battle of Badr was happening, while the battle of Uhud was happening, while the Khandaq was happening, while the Ghazwa of this and the battle of that was happening, Rasulullah still continued to educate the Muslims about their deen. Educating them about wudu, educating them about ghusl, educating them about relationships, educated them how to eat and how to sit and how to walk. All of the sunnah of Rasulullah and his guidance continued. So Allah says in the Quran, for example, Inna Allah la yughayiru ma biqawmin. Allah does not stay, change the state of a people until they change the state that is within themselves. And I'm not talking about the people of Gaza. I believe the people of Gaza, the people of Palestine, they are Allah's people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may be taking them back off this earth because when someone dies, where do they go? They go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know their state and they're not asking us to do anything. They're just asking us to make dua, to voice our opinions and to try and speak out and share what's happening to them to the world. As for them, they said, we know where we're going. 
So we're thinking about ourselves and the future of our generation. And I think, alhamdulillah, I'm seeing a change and a shift in this world. It doesn't have an open night. But what can you do within your power? You do it.